This is a tale that has been passed around. So come closer and wrap yourself with warm blankets. The story is about to begin. It happened to a distant cousin of mine. He was a traveling salesman working in between provinces in China. There was one night on his way to the next sales, a huge storm hit, and he couldn't continue. So he had to find a local hostel and stay the night. The owner of the place told him, there's two rooms side by side, but you should just take the one on the right. As my cousin walked in, he heard a loud thud coming from the room on the left. So he thought someone must have been in there. He laid down his stuff and inspected the room. Nothing special, nothing too dirty, until he saw a hole in the wall that was connected to the adjacent room. Curiosity took him, and he looked through the hole. He saw a girl sitting on the bed in a white dress, and she was swinging her legs back and forth. He thought she was kind of pretty, although he couldn't see her face completely from that angle. He only saw the mouth and the nose. Oh well, he thought, no need to be a pervert, and he left the hole and started to get ready for bed. In the middle of the night, he heard a loud thud. He was startled. The noise was coming from the room next door. He turned on the lights, approached the hole. He tried to look through it to see what was going on on the other side, but something seems to be blocking it. Something red. He thought to himself, Maybe she blocked the hole with her bag or something. And he did not have another thought and went back to sleep. The next morning, he got up. And he tried his luck again to look through the hole. This time, the hole was not blocked. But there's nobody in there. Disappointed, he started packing his stuff up and ready to leave. On his way out, he talked to the owner. He said, was there someone in the next room? The owner looked surprised. He said, Son, there's nobody in that room ever since the girl committed suicide there. She hung herself, and when they found the body, her eyes were blood red. My cousin was terrified. That red thing she saw, he saw at night was actually her eyes. And then he asked the owner, Holy shit, she's been watching me the whole night. The owners laughed. <laughs> she's looking at you right now. I'm just fucking with you. That girl's my niece. She has some infection in her eye and there's nobody here that sells eye drops. With a sigh of relief, my cousin said to the owner, Well, I'm an eye drop salesman. Maybe I can help. And with that, my cousin helped the girl clear her eyes, and they fell in love. Next week, I'll be attending their wedding. The end. I just love a happy ending, don't you? If you want to hear more stories, please subscribe and leave comments below.